This is another calculator question number nine. College Board is asking for the y-intercept of the line through these two points. And I can either graph the points carefully and use estimation, see if that works, or I can solve for the equation of the line. And I'll do both, of course. So my x values go positive 2 or negative 1. And my y values go positive 4, negative 4. And I go from negative 1, negative 2, which is here, to positive 2, positive 4, which is here. And if I grab my calculator, I can use the edge of my calculator as a straight edge as a ruler. I'm going to use this yardstick as a straight edge, and I see that the line through them pretty much goes through the origin. That's just choice C. And even though you're not allowed a ruler, using your calculator or a spare pencil as a straight edge allows you to, if you've drawn your scale reasonably to scale, estimate and say it's 0, not 1 half, not 1, not negative 1. Alternatively, we can find the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Make sure you don't flip that. Slope is rise over run, change in y over change in x. The y coordinates are 4 minus negative 2, x coordinates in the same order 2 minus negative 1. It doesn't matter which one you choose as x2, y2, and which one you choose as x1, y1, as long as you keep them in the same order. So the second point was first in the numerator, second point has to be first in the denominator. If you swap them, you would get negative 2 minus 4 over negative 1 minus 2. This is 4 minus negative 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6, over 2 minus negative 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3, and this is negative 6 over negative 3. So swapping the order will not give you the wrong answer. Don't worry about which one comes first. And 6 over 3 is a slope of 2. So point slope form y minus your y coordinate equals your slope times x minus your x coordinate. And you can put in either point as x0, y0. So this is y minus 4 equals twice x minus 2. Distributing y minus 4 equals 2x minus 4. Add 4 to both sides. And you get y equals 2x is y equals mx plus b. b is 0. The y-intercept is 0. So again, choice C. College Board often asks you to find the equation for a line, or the slope, or the intercept. So make sure you're comfortable finding the slope and finding the intercept. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.